What's up guys, Coach Jeremy here. In this video, we're talking about how to pick a hockey stick for kids. So these are the Battle Mode Hockey Sticks from Mode Hockey, a company that I'm a part owner of, and we make hockey sticks for kids. So what you're looking for, there's your flex, there's the height of the stick, and then the curve pattern. Now remember, it's all personal preference, but there are recommendations that will help you get started on the right foot. So your rule of thumb for your flex, for your height and the curve pattern. I'm gonna go over all of those in this video and hopefully help you guys pick a really good stick for your kids. Let's go. In this video, we're gonna be working with Mickey, picking out a hockey stick that's right for him. Let's give him some stats so they uh, know who we're picking a stick for. Where do you play hockey first? Barry Colts, AAA. AAA hockey player, Barry Colts, and how old are you? Eight. Eight, and really important for picking the flex of the stick, how much do you weigh? Four foot four. That's not how much you weigh. 64 pounds. So 64 pounds. The rule of thumb for picking a stick is typically you want about half your weight. This red battle mode is a 30 flex stick and that's going to be about half of his weight so that should be good. Uh, what stick are you using right now in a game? So you got this white battle mode which was a special edition, a 30 flex which is perfect for his flex. The reason you want a flex that is about half your weight is because you need to be able to flex that stick when you shoot. A lot of times kids will have a, uh, an adult stick and basically they're not getting any flex out of that at all and it's going to hurt their power. But the worst thing is that if they're used to using a really, really stiff stick, then once they get a bit older and they have the muscle to flex the other stick, they basically have to learn a new way how to shoot the puck. A lot of newer players will be curious about what hand they should shoot. Typically the dominant hand will go on top. Can you pick up your hockey stick? An easy way to find out is just have the player pick up the hockey stick, whichever hand goes on top they are the opposite hand. You can see Mason has his right hand on top. That means that he's gonna be a left-handed shot. You can also use other things uh, like a broom or a snow shovel, or in this case, a net. Mason has his right hand on top and his left hand on bottom. Right hand on top means he's gonna shoot lefty. Remember, that's just a rule of thumb to have your dominant hand on top. There's a lot of examples of NHL players that have their dominant hand on the bottom. Uh, just seems like an easier starting point to get better control right off the start. So now we're going to talk about the height. So uh, Mickey, let's get you standing up here and we will check the height of your hockey stick. For kids or newer players in general, I always like to start just under the chin, but that's when you're on skates. So this position right here, the stick is just about to the nose. When he's on skates, the stick will be just under the chin or a little bit higher. Just below the chin when you're on skates is a good starting position because it's not too tall and not too short. Remember, you can change based on personal preference, but this is basically right in the middle. If the stick is too short, it can cause a player to be a bit too hunched over. It can also interfere with the player's puck control because if they're holding it but more upright, then it can bring the heel of the stick up off the ice and then they're gonna miss the puck as well. If the stick is too long, it can interfere with the player's performance in a number of ways. Number one, skating. If the stick is long, the player will be more upright. They're not gonna get that good knee bend, so it'll hurt their skating performance. Number two, with their stick handling. So to exaggerate the point of finding the right stick length, you can see uh, Mickey has a really long stick here. You notice the toe of the blade is coming up off the ice, and the top of the stick is sticking way out, causing him to uh, move his top hand way back. If he wants the stick handle now, you can see that it causes his top hand to have to drive way back, and the stick is interfering with the lateral movement across his body. Now with the stick that's the right height in a hockey stance, you can see the blade is nice and flush on the ice and the uh, top is not sticking out behind the body. So what you can do is have the player go into the athletic position, nice hockey stance, and then find where the stick, or the blade is uh, flush on the ice and then just have the player move their hand up and down the stick to a comfortable position. So in this case, the stick is cut to the right height, so there's nothing sticking at the back, but if a player had a longer stick, it would uh, be sticking at the back, and then that's how you can find where to cut it. Another important factor when picking a hockey stick is the curve pattern. Most kids' hockey sticks use a moderate curve, which is the one on the left. Uh, we just released this really aggressive toe curve, which is one on the right. You can see it's a really aggressive toe curve. Uh, there's a few NHL players that like to use something like that, like Ovechkin. So we released it so kids can uh, get the puck up really quick. But remember, it's all about technique. No matter what curve you use, you should be able to learn how to shoot with it. Something that I think is important to mention is that for little guys like this, you don't need to buy the really expensive hockey sticks. 
Get this guy a little wood hockey stick. Uh, if they don't know what hand they are, get them a flat curve so they can figure that out. And then as they get better, as they progress, that's when you can start looking at a more high performance stick. Remember, it's not the stick that makes the person. With enough practice, you will become a good hockey player. Something like this is just helping complement the skills. It takes good technique to be able to flex a hockey stick properly. So you can see the pro guys, they're turning these things basically into bananas when they're shooting them. The younger players, they're still working on finding that technique. With a really stiff hockey stick, they're not going to get that same feedback from the stick. So it's nice for them to be able to feel where they should have their bottom hand, where their top hand should be, when they're making that right movement, that the stick is responding and giving them that nice power in their shot. The most important part, of course, is that the kids are having fun and uh, being able to play the game. So if you can't afford the really expensive ones, get them something, just get them out there playing hockey. That'll give you a lot of details on the height, the flex, and the curve pattern. Remember, these are all just general rules. There's a lot of personal preference. If you're interested in picking up a Mode Hockey stick, check out our website, modehockey.com, and I'll put the link down there in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. See you later. Yeah.